Welcome to our demonstration of JITAC, a just-in-time tool for architectural consistency. Currently, it's an Eclipse plugin that supports achieving ongoing architectural consistency between the source code and an as-recovered or an as-designed software architecture. As the name suggests, it does this by making developers and architects aware of architectural consistency in a just-in-time manner. So to demonstrate, let's take a common scenario where there is an existing system and an implicit architecture, an architecture that exists in the mind of the architect. First, we give the architect the chance to explicitly express this architecture by means of a nodes and edges palette. Using this palette, the architect creates a three node model in this case, reflecting the system's entry points, main, its utilities, and its GUI driven commands. This involves dragging three components onto the architectural model view and naming them appropriately. Then the architect makes explicit the dependencies he thinks should exist between these components by generating edges in his diagram. Here he specifies dependencies from main to utilities and command to utilities. Now, in reflection modeling style, we map the source code elements from the package explorer on the left hand side to the components. This can be a one-to-one -one mapping or a many-to-one -one mapping where many source code projects, packages, classes are mapped onto the one component. Here the architect maps J jfigure command to command, jfigure common and jfigure model to utilities, and finally the main Java file to main. Notice we are getting real-time feedback which tells us where the source code dependencies are as expected by the architect and where the source code dependencies are not as expected by the architect. For example, main has three expected dependencies on utilities, however utilities has one unexpected dependency on command and main has several unexpected dependencies on command. JTAC allows the architect to explore these inconsistencies in depth by bringing up the architectural relations view. This view lists the source and target for each dependency and allows the architect navigate to the corresponding line of code. In this case, the architect focuses on the dependency between utilities and command and navigates to a simple import statement, which he decides to just comment out. When saved, this change is reflected back to the architectural model. For brevity, let's assume that the architect explores the dependency between main and command and decides that it was an oversight not to include it in his original model and adds it. Um, the architect could also, dis could also drag a source code project package Java file from the package explorer and use it to create a totally new component in his architectural model. In this example, the architect drags move command.java onto the model and this allows him to explore the rest of the system's relationship to that source code entity. The dependencies shown are as expected in this case and he uses the palette to add them to the architectural model. Just to note at this point that JTAC is capable of having many architectural models of the same system at the same time, allowing architects several perspectives on their system. Here an example we created earlier where the node command in our original model has been broken down into its subcomponents as shown. So let's assume the architect has achieved consistency between the model and the code. At this point, he might give the system out to developers for subsequent evolution and ask them to maintain the consistency he's achieved. But when dealing with the minutiae of code, this is a very difficult task for developers. So how can JTAC help? Let's show the scenario where a developer starts to make changes to the system. They start by uncommenting two lines from main.java, both of which will cause an inconsistency. In addition, they start adding a new line of code. You notice autocomplete pops up, but here the suggestions provided by autocomplete are re-ranked and color-coded. Methods or fields that are accessible and are consistent with the architect's model are placed first in color green. Methods or fields that are in software elements as yet unmapped to the architectural model come up next and in amber. Finally, the methods and entities that can only be accessed in violation of the architect's express model are presented last and in red. This gives the programmer architectural awareness as he codes, i.e. just in time. In this instance, the programmer selects the X Cute method, which he knows in advance is a violation. As he saves his work, he gets warnings on the margin on the left-hand side reflecting all three inconsistencies introduced. Again, a just-in-time measure. By right-clicking on any of these lines of code in question, he can go back to the architectural view and see the dependency highlighted in the architectural model, giving him valuable contextual information on the violation he's introduced. He can click on that edge and through the architectural relations view, go back to the code, making the navigation fully round-trip. At this stage, after checking the context, the developer may still be convinced the dependency is required or desirable for something like performance. If so, he has the option of sending an email to the architect by again right-clicking on the inconsistent line of code and selecting the option to email the architect. This brings up an email client with a message addressed to the architect, with all the information required to uniquely identify the line of code. Space is left for the developer's rationale. And here is the received email. The architect on seeing this email is free to go into JTAC and explore the consequences of the developer's actions. In this case, he accepts the inconsistency as a valuable addition to the architecture. Thus ends the demonstration of JTAC. I hope we have showed how the tool can help architects arrive at, a con arrive at a consistent architecture, how it can help developers during ongoing system evolution by providing them with just-in-time architectural consistency information as they code, and how they can use the tool to reflect their 
desired yet inconsistent changes back to the team and the architect through email. Thank you.